Does Taylor Swift lip sync during the Eras tour? There's a, a YouTube channel called Wings of Pegasus, where a guy called Phil, spelt for some reason F-I-L, and analyzes people's vocals using this particular software. He isolates the vocal and he's able to determine whether that vocal has been pitch corrected or whether it's identical to another vocal. This, this latter in particular is a way of determining whether someone is lip syncing. If there's a studio recording of a song, for example, and then a video of a person singing that song supposedly live, if the vocals from those two things, from the studio recording and the live performance, are actually identical, then it's clear that the person is lip syncing. No two vocal performances by the same artist will ever be identical. And the pitch analysis software will pick up those differences and will highlight where the tracks are actually identical. So obviously somewhat controversially, just a couple of days ago, Phil posted a video where he looks at a performance of Style by Taylor Swift during the Eras tour. In fact, he uses recordings by fans from three concerts at different times, one from Liverpool, one from Portugal, and one from Tokyo. And he also compares it with a promotional video of the song used to promote the Eras tour. Now, using this analysis, by isolating Taylor's vocal, he's able to show that the performances at those three shows and also in the promotional video. So those four performances are actually identical. Now this simply could not happen by chance. No one can reproduce a vocal performance that accurately. And from this, he concludes, I think with considerable justification that Taylor Swift is actually lip syncing during this performance. That's going to upset some fans, I know that. There is, however, one thing somewhat odd about Phil's analysis. He also concludes because of the occurrence of certain plosives, that's P sounds, in these or this recording, that it's not an album track that she's lip syncing to, but rather a live recording. Or, as he seems to suggest, tracks that have been made to sound live. I'm not sure what to make of this. Certainly it would be very odd indeed if the entire three and a half hour show had been recorded live ahead of time so that she could lip sync to it and still sound live. What do you make of that idea? But I'm not, I'm not going to focus on that at the moment. I'm just going to focus purely on the lip syncing issue. Anyway, I think Phil does make his case that for this song at least, or for these performances at least, what we're hearing is not Taylor's live vocals to this song at this particular time, at least at these three shows. How do I feel about that? Well, a little disappointed, but not altogether surprised. However, this is not the whole story. I think there's abundant evidence that she's most definitely not lip syncing to all of the songs, but perhaps only or mainly to those up-tempo pop songs that also require a lot of physical movement. I'm going to present you with some of the evidence for that. I'm going to be referencing a number of short videos, most of which I won't actually include here, but I will leave links in the description below so that you can watch these for yourself. The first of these I will show you, though, just to give you an example. During the singing of All Too Well at one of the shows, when it's basically Taylor standing there strumming the guitar, she swallows a fly in the middle of the performance. <laughs> This also happens in a performance of a song called I Almost Do on piano at a concert in Milan. Again, she swallows a fly and it clearly interrupts her vocal performance. On both of these occasions, it's clear that she's singing live and the swallowing of the fly disrupts her performance. 
There's also a video of her singing Who's Afraid of Little Old Me when suddenly in the middle of the song she lets out a scream. Apparently it's because of something that's happening in her earpiece because she quickly pulls out the earpiece. It's clear from this that she was singing live during this performance of this song. Also, when she's performing You're Losing Me, again just at the piano, her voice breaks. She clearly becomes very emotional and her voice actually breaks. There's no doubt at all that this is a live performance. During another show, she clearly has a cold and she coughs in the middle of two songs, Cardigan and My Tears Ricochet. In one recording of Never Ever Getting Back Together, Taylor forgets to return the microphone to her mouth when she says the words, like ever. You can see her say the words, but you can't hear them. And then she quickly puts the mic back up to her mouth and says them again. I have a video that I'll be posting on one of my upcoming Saturdays when she's singing a song called You're On Your Own Kid in the acoustic section of the show. Again, she's just sitting there, just her and her piano. And there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that she's singing that live. Also, honestly, when you watch some of the fan recorded videos of the show, well, frankly, she's not always quite in tune when she's singing. Sometimes she's a bit pitchy, as you would expect. I think she's even slightly pitchy, occasionally anyway, in the Era's Tour movie when she sings Cruel Summer, the opening song. So all of this indicates to me that at least on some of the songs, certainly in the slower songs, the acoustic songs, she is singing live. I have no doubt about that at all. On the other hand, it's probably true that in some of the up-tempo, more pop-sounding songs, she does indeed lip-sync. Or at least she sings along with a pre-recorded track. But even in these songs where she is lip-syncing, she's still putting in a whole lot of work into the performance. It's not just a question of going and watching this person sing. This is a show. This is a performance. It requires a lot of energy. And yes, sometimes she uses the assistance of a pre-recorded track so that she can lip sync. You may think there's something wrong with that, that she's letting down the fans, that it's somehow a dishonest performance. Just as an aside, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos of various fairly famous artists performing at festivals. I won't name names. But honestly, sometimes I wish they would lip sync. Their live performances just don't measure up, either in terms of the vocal quality or the level of energy and commitment that they put into the performance. In an ideal world, perhaps an artist should be able to perform for three and a half hours, putting all their energy into it for three or four nights in a row on stage. I'd like to see you have a go at that. Honestly, though, the audience who are there performing these songs along with her, their voices are gone by the time they're halfway through the show. 